The new health secretary, Matt Hancock, has promised to offer patients suffering with depression alternatives to drugs, such as gardening and arts clubs. Well, the announcement comes after it was revealed a record 7.3 million people were prescribed antidepressants last year, including 70,000 children. New research released today suggests young people with mental health problems are being let down by the NHS. Uh, well, Dr Hillary is here. So, so good morning to you, Hillary. Morning, uh, a push away from pills by the new health secretary. Yeah, I think the sentiment that he is uh, is um, uttering is is a, is a good one. I think we all know that 7.3 million prescriptions issued last year is far too many. 70,000 children being put on antidepressants seems like a, an easy fix for doctors to mass prescribe people who have low mood, people who have social or emotional problems. So I, I think offering uh, social prescribing, uh, getting people into activities that get them exercising or in the garden or down to an arts club is a good idea. However, doctors alone can't fix this problem. This is a problem of society. We have one million people over the age of 75 who don't see a human face for up to one month at a time. That's something that society has to address, not just doctors. In terms of the young people, that the, uh, the targets are very unambitious to try and treat 35% of people with diagnosable mental health problems by 2020, that seems very unambitious. If it was coronary heart disease or diabetes, it would be totally unacceptable. So we do need more health workers, probably 24,000, that's the estimate. We probably need £1.77 billion pounds spent on improving mental health services, and that comes from the University of Birmingham just this week. Yeah, the target seems to be to fail. Plenty of work to be it done. Mm -hmm. uh, Hilary, thanks very much. Thank indeed. you, Sean.